Good afternoon. Uh, good day of work. Our what we would call our Thursday practice, really dress rehearsal day for the game, where the entire game plan is in and installed. Questions? Did you get everything done, done that you wanted to in the short week? We did. We did, and we handled it. You know, with the exception of the hitting, almost exactly like we would have handled a normal game week in terms of the installation plan. I thought the players and the coaches both did a great job of of being very focused on what we had to do because we we did have some limited time in between the installs. That's really where we lost the time. You know, the time we spent in the meetings uh, is about what we would usually spend. Kyle, what are your thoughts? I know you're focused on Thursday, but what are your thoughts as all? Because you've been here the whole time on this Rutgers-Louisville rivalry, how big it's become, and if it's sad to see it likely end after tomorrow night. I forget who I heard say this, but you know, like rivalries can't really be forced. You know, they happen because you play a certain program over time and the games are competitive and there's wins on both sides, which there have been. And uh, I think it's just the nature of college football these days. You know, the conferences have changed and you know, after this year they're going to a new conference and we're going to a new conference. But, but all that is in the future. I think this week what people are going to get a chance to see and whether it's the last time or not, I don't know if I can predict that, but what they'll get to see this Thursday night is, is, is two really talented, hard-nosed, tough, physical football teams uh, playing on Thursday night. Do you feel like it's become a big a big rub? I mean, wherever you've been, I'm sure every school has a rivalry. It's probably Rutgers' biggest rival ever. I don't know that. I think uh, I think that the games we play with Louisville are very competitive and, and have that kind of feel to them. And there's other teams in our conference that I think we've, we've played and have had a similar feel. And when those games come up, you, you may feel the same way. You know, but uh, but there's, there's no question that when you have a team that you've had competitive football games with over the course of time, there's going to be a, a heightened uh, sense of awareness of it. Okay, with the Louisville having in, a lot of injury issues this week, how much do you pay attention to that, or do you even game plan for it at all? I don't think you can. I, I felt last year that, that, that Teddy would play, and he didn't start the game, and he did. And, and I think they've got some players dinged up, and we've got some players dinged up. and. Most will play, and some may not be able to play. But I, it's not going to change their personality or who they are on on, on the football side of it. And it's, it's not going to change who we are either. So I don't, I don't I try not to pay too much attention. Just coach the team that I get to coach. Are you surprised Charlie Coulter is the best team in the country? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Charlie, uh, I think they've got an excellent football team. I think Charlie believes in his players, and and I certainly believe in mine. So it's a, uh, it'll be a good uh, a good test on Thursday night, I think, for both of us. That kind of goes against the grain of what most coaches do. I mean, could you, if you ever got to a position, could, would you pronounce your team the best in the country if you were in some kind of position to do that? I don't know if, I don't know. I, I think Is that your you personality? Know, the, the polls, the, who the, whoever the number one team in the country is right now really is meaningless. You know, it's, it's really just, we're not even halfway through the season yet. There's going to be so many games that, that are going to be played between now and the end of the regular season until maybe the last couple weeks. I don't really know that there's any any value to it. You know, I don't know. I don't know if it's anybody's goal to be the number one team in the country in week five or six. It's certainly not mine. Scott, what kind of weapon can your rushing attack be in helping out your defense against Teddy Bridgewater in terms of time of possession? Because you guys have run the ball pretty well in terms of time of possession, keeping it away from Teddy. I think it, it depends on how it 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 um, it evolves in the game. If it's a if it's a rushing game where you're getting three, four, five, six yards of carry, then you're going to take up more time. If you break a few big ones, then you're going to score a little quicker and you won't take up as much time. But I don't focus on that. It's the offense's job is to score points. It's not to, to gather up time of possession. So, you know, when we start the game, we're going to we're going to call the offense to score points. And then if that if that puts Teddy Bridgewater back on the field, you know, so be it. We're going to play defense. What do, what do you see from some of the young guys that have dressed that? Play guys like John Simmons and Kamoko Ture that dress haven't really played, might not. But what do you see from them? I think they're getting better. Uh, and then next week, uh, after this game, we've got a little bit more time to evaluate those guys and see for the for the second half of the season who can help us. But that's really not where our focus is right now. You know, those guys are helping us get ready to to be one another this week, and, and that's really where the program's focus is. You worry about Louisville starting fast? I think they scored on four of the first drives, four touchdowns before the first five drives this season. And in their five games, they scored on their first a touch on their first drive four times. Does that concern you that they're a quick starting team? Or I, I don't know that it concerns me. We, we want to make sure that we're ready to play 
play one, and, and I'm sure they'll be ready to play, and we're going to make sure that we're ready to play. The game will be 60 minutes long. I, I don't know that it will matter necessarily who the first team to score is. I think this will be a 60-minute a game, and, and uh, we've played a couple of them already this year, so I think we're battle-tested and ready for it. Thanks, guys.